Hello and welcome back to Answers Excel Academy. Over here, I have a Excel workbook with a bunch of spreadsheets. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to create a table of contents, which lists the names of each spreadsheet within my workbook. Now in this table of contents, I want my manager to be able to see each of the spreadsheets. So what I can do is I can write down budget planning, client contacts, customer list, each and every one, I can write them down over here manually, or I can use a shortcut. So let me show you how to do this um, with a shortcut. And if you have many sheets, it just saves a lot of effort. So the first thing we're going to do is we'll go into the formulas tab and under name manager, we're going to click new and we're going to create a name. So let's call this, uh, we can call it anything we want. Let's call it names. Um, after this, we can select the scope. The scope is going to be this workbook. We can add comments um, based on what this function does if we want to. Um, but we're going to leave that for the sake of this uh, demonstration. In the refers to cell, what I'm going to write is a formula equals to uh, replace open bracket get dot workbook open bracket one close bracket comma one comma and then after that find and then open bracket double quote and then i'm going to add this square bracket this one um, after that close bracket and comma after that get dot work book and then after that one again workbook one and then close bracket once again followed by a comma followed by double quote space double quote followed by a close bracket. So this is the code I'm going to be using. I'll click OK and I'll close the name manager. OK, so I'm going to remember I've called it names. OK, so now I'm going to come over here and I'm going to start serial numbering. OK, so depending on how many spreadsheets I have, um, I have about 20 spreadsheets. So I'm just going to go one comma two and then I'm just going to double click like this just to flash fill. OK, after this, what we're doing basically is we're saying um, over here in column B, we're going to return the name of spreadsheet one, the name of spreadsheet two, spreadsheet three, and so on. And in order to return those names, we're going to write in our um, target cell equals to index, open bracket, the name of our function. So in our name manager, we name that function names, right? Um, comma. And we're going to select one because we want the name of spreadsheet one, close bracket. There we go and then drag this down and there we are so that's how we can extract the names of all spreadsheets within our workbook i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you very soon on the next one